Ah, uh, New York, where you can finally say you're in a state where your governor isn't constantly cheating on his wife. At least, that's what we thought for a few minutes there. Elliot Spitzer, who resigned in the middle of his prostitution scandal, handed over to the governorship to David Patterson. The move, of course, was greeted with adulation as Patterson was praised for overcoming the fact that he's legally blind. Unfortunately, it seems he's kind of morally blind. Uh, that characteristic um, that he kind of has in common with a lot of politicians is that um, he's cheating on his wife, or has cheated on his wife, multiple times. Patterson somehow didn't find that information interesting enough to disclose until the day after he was sworn into office in an interview with the Daily News. Seeing the headline this morning, it was, um, well, it was almost impossible to believe. I, I say almost impossible since it involves a politician, and so I'm just going to believe it. You know what I'm saying? Patterson revealed that he had affairs with several women, one of which is a state employee. In fact, it was with someone who worked on Elliot Spitzer's executive staff and is still there. Uh, now, he, she is one of Patterson's employees, meaning... I guess that technically she's still working under him, but that's a different story. Patterson said that uh, the affairs had been over several years and they occurred in a rough patch of their marriage where his wife was also cheating. He said, I think we have a marriage like many Americans, maybe even one like you. Uh, elected officials are really just reflections of the people we represent. <sighs> Unfortunately, he's right on that one. In perhaps the most bizarre twist, Patterson would like to take his mistresses to a hotel in the Upper West Side, which at the time, I'm sure, was a high-quality quality inn. But uh, after the infidel infidelity festival they were having in the marriage, the uh, Pattersons were trying to patch things up, and their therapist said, you should try new and exciting things in your relationship. And so they decided to get away and go to a hotel. And which one did they pick? Yes, the same one that he was using to cheat on her in. Again, unbelievable if it weren't the life of a politician. Now, I know this is probably too much to ask, but um, I'm just saying, to mix it up a little bit, it would be nice to have a politician in office that occasionally was able to find himself in his own bed with his own spouse. I know, crazy request, but a man can dream.